Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video is about how to install Linux Mint 13 Cinnamon Long-Term Support Desktop into VirtualBox. The outcomes for this video would be to uh, download Linux Mint 13 Cinnamon Maya, create virtual guest for Mint 13 Cinnamon Maya inside a VirtualBox, Install Linux Mint 13 Cinnamon inside VirtualBox on the guest that we just created, or that I just created. And then finally update Linux Mint 13 Cinnamon. Requirements would be an internet connection, VirtualBox installed on the host computer, and enough memory to run both host computer and Linux Mint guest. My guest is uh, running on 768 megabytes of memory. You can have more, and you might be able to go down as far as 512 megabytes, but I found that a little bit unstable on Ubuntu uh, desktops. Additional information, here's some places from Linux Mint. And a disclaimer, while this video demonstrates an actual install of Linux Mint 13, I can't fully verify that this will work with all combinations of hardware and software out there. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. Here I'm going to download Linux Mint 13, the long-term support edition. And here I am at the linuxmint.com page. And we go to download. And then to all versions. And then long-term support. And 13 Maya. And I'm going to pick the 64-bit desktop cinnamon and if you want to you can go ahead and read the release notes um, since I'm in the United States I'm going to look for a download mirror in the United States and the one I'm going to pick is James Madison University I, I don't know where some of these other ones are could be University of Maryland, College Park. They're about the same distance from me. But, okay, let, let me pick uh, University of Maryland, College Park. Click on Save File. And I like to choose a directory where it goes to keep all my downloads separate because I do a lot of downloads. And in this case, I have a download separate downloads directory on the C disk. And Linux Mint Cinnamon Desktop. And here it is, Linux 13 DVD 64-bit ISO. Click Save. And up here it says about six minutes to download. Well, that, that may or may not be right. I'll come back when it's uh, fully download, verify that it's downloaded. Here we are finishing the download to seven seconds left. Now four seconds. And always at the last second it seems it takes forever. But not this time. Let's check and make sure it's downloaded. C. Downloads. Linux Mint Cinnamon Desktop. And there it is. Linux Mint 13 64-bit ISO. So that's done. Here I am in Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager, and I'm going to create a new virtual guest to install Linux Mint 13 on. And I'm just going to call it Mint Sin 13.01, because I usually make more than one a lot of times and clone them and play around with them. This would be a Linux operating system, and it would be Ubuntu 64-bit, because there is no mint choices here but Ubuntu 64-bit is what's going to work click next and instead of 512 megabytes of memory I'm going to put in 768 if you want you could put in more that would work better uh, but I, I find it kind of works uh, best you know minimum is around 768 for these desktops with 3d graphics click next and it says here the recommend size of hard drive is 8 gigabytes. I'm going to expand that to 20. And I'm going to create a virtual hard drive now, VDI, next. And it's going to be dynamically allocated so I, I don't use up all the host hard drive. 
basically dynamically allocated means that I'm only using as much of the host hard drive as there are files on the virtual guest hard drive. Click Next. And here I'm going to click 20 gigabytes. Click Create. So I've got it right here. It's uh, created. I'm going to drag it up here to my Linux Mint. I've got a group with Linux Mint. Well, actually what I probably have to do is open up the Linux Mint group. Then drag it into my Linux Mint group. Where did I go? Oh, I didn't drag it. Then we'll drag it up here to my Linux Mint group. And if you want to create your own group, all you have to do is right click on it and you'll see the group setting. So for display, I'm going to enable 3D acceleration. And then I'm not sure whether this really helps or not. But I like to give it as much video memory as possible, especially if I've got a little bit extra RAM or random access memory past the minimum of 512. Click OK. Network, I'm just going to leave as a default. And in storage, I'm going to go to the empty CD, DVD, and it says no disk image, just select it. And then wherever I downloaded Linux Mint 13 ISO file, here it is. Cinnamon Desktop, same place I downloaded it, and click Open. And that's set. And that's pretty much it for creating the uh, virtual guest. Now if you want to, you can come up here in System, you can give it a little more memory, you can have it access a couple of processors. Um, I'll leave this unchecked right now for Cinnamon Mint 64. So you can give it additional resources if you want. But that's the basic setting there. And the next step is to go ahead and install Linux Mint. Here I am in the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager and I've created a virtual guest Mint Sin 1301. Right click on it and simply click Start. And I'm going to expand it. After about a minute or two, you get the Linux Mint Maya startup screen. You can install it from here, but I've found that if you try and install it from this right here, it, it hangs up sometimes and takes a long time. I don't know exactly what the problem is, so I prefer to go to Menu, Administration. Well, let me leave it Administration, Install Mint, Linux Mint. And after about 30 seconds, up comes the install screen. It says English. And I click Continue. Of course, would have to pick your own language. And it makes these checks. If it's checked here, it's good. It's connected to the internet and 5.3 gigabytes available drive space minimum. Click Continue. I'm going to leave this default, erase disk, and install Linux Mint or this virtual machine. And install now and at a certain point you're going to have to add a username and a password but the install is fairly simple uh, after you enter these beginning parameters where are you I am found out I'm in the Eastern time zone keyboard layout make sure you get this correct here mine is English US and English US I don't like to detect a keyboard layout because it takes a long time to do that Put in my name, and since this was mint sin, and this is lowercase, 
1601. I put in the same name as the uh, VirtualBox name. And then I'm going to put in a password. And it says it's a weak password. You should always use a password with number, special character like dollar sign or at, and upper and lower case. I'm using a weak password because I make a lot of virtual machines and then it's something easy to type in. And then you've got your choice here. Require or log in automatically. Click continue. So go ahead and get a cup of coffee and let it go and work and it'll do its job. If you wish you can go through a slideshow here that explains about Linux Mint. Video will come back when when we're fully installed, I believe, or if there's any other questions that need to be answered. After about 10 or 15 minutes, it says installation is complete. And I'm just going to click restart now. Now, if it hangs up on the restart, give it about a minute or so. If it hangs up on the restart, don't worry about it. You're still good to go. I'll show you how to get it to stop. Now I've waited patiently for about uh, a minute and a half, 90 seconds for the Cinnamon desktop to restart. I uh, don't think it will. So I go up here to Machine, top left on the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager menu, and click on Close. And then it says, do you want to save the machine state? Basically I want to just power off the machine, click OK. And here we are. In the next section of the video, I'm going to do the update. In this final section, I'm going to show you how to update Mint Sin Maya, the Cinnamon Maya desktop. Just right click and we're going to start it. It's going to take a while for it to start fully. Maybe a minute or two before you get to the actual desktop after this first initial install and the updates it usually goes a little bit faster ask for a username and your password and again this black screen is going to go I don't know 30 seconds something like that don't worry about it Okay, the black screen has lasted about 30 seconds. So now to do the updates, we'll go over here to Menu. Let's wait for this welcome screen to pop up here. Okay, it says Welcome to Linux Mint. And I'm just going to close it here. You can uh, unclick it here where it says Show this dialog at Startup. Click on the menu. Go to Administration. And here is Update Manager. Of course, it asks for your password again. Now, one thing it's going to have a problem with something called the Metabuntu Metabuntu repository. I'm going to let it go ahead and create that error and uh, then show you how to fix it because if it has a problem with the repository from a couple of years ago if you keep on using uh, Maya 13 LTS it's a long-term support there may be some other repositories that may be what we call deprecated or no longer used okay after about two or three minutes uh, you might get an error or you, you will get an error could not download all repository indexes and if you go down here it says fail to fetch HTTP packages metabuntu.org and basically what uh, they're looking for a repository for Ubuntu and Ubuntu has since uh, 
not use, stop using this repository. So we're going to close this. And the way you fix that, when the menu comes back up, you go to Edit. And go to Software Sources. Go to Software Sources, then you go to Other Software, and right here where it says HTT Packages and Metabuntu, Metabuntu.org, we're going to unclick that. Once we unclick that, everything's going to work fine. Click Close, and then click Install Updates again. And it's going to go through the same situation where it's going through these AD some uh, updates but it's not going to stop at downloading file 72 disappears it's going to come back up in a second and so now click on install updates and if I recall right you've got something like 500 updates so So basically, it's going to download a lot, uh, well, I'm sorry, 676 updates. So this is a, like a two or three cups of coffee. If you got a fast connection here, I'm going like two megabytes a second here. It's not going to take long, but if you got a slow connection, it's going to take a long time. I come back when it's kind of uploaded, when they're all installed. Here I've got about five seconds remaining. So now with the uh, updates downloaded, it's going to take some time and install all the packages. Finally, in the middle of the stall, it asks if it, you want to replace the configuration file, etc. GNOME defaults.list. And basically, this is a list of uh, applications. And I'm just going to click Replace. If you want to research it further, you can uh, research it further and see which applications you want to keep as default and which ones you want. And you can even add or change that list, as long as you spell everything correctly. I'll come back when uh, the install is com fully completed. Okay, here's another question. A replace configuration file. Uh, it's a grub helper script. You can check for the difference. Uh, I'm just going to replace it because that's what this update is all uh, about. Finally, it's closed. Closed automatically. I didn't have to do anything. If you recall, last time we shut it down, it took a long time. This time, it should shut down by itself. Should have had it reboot, but uh, that's it for the long-term support to Maya 13. Thank you.